The world will remember this day. Working at Oppenheimer was a tremendous learning experience. If Chris had his way, his preference would be to use only production sound. We use all the production sound that we can, always. Those real tracks that Willie has recorded are really the foundation of any given shot or any given scene. I collaborate with my partner, Kevin O'Connell. We are painting with sound to create that sonic, uh, the impression, the feeling that Chris is after. Chris will generally give me three or four things to start thinking about. It was really those some more abstract things. With the Trinity test, well, I approached it moment by moment. I found firsthand descriptions really intriguing and really inspiring. It was really just all the little details, all the little uh, bits of machinery they used, old analog equipment humming, all this equipment is more or less period accurate. You know, the solenoid activates the detonator, but all these sounds are just meant to kind of keep us in the suspense of waiting, which stops now. There are moments that demand silence, and that's the distance they were from the tower, about 40 seconds for the, the shock wave to hit the bunker. It's kind of counterintuitive because in movies you expect to hear the explosion when you see the explosion. When it does go kaboom, you have been lulled into this sense of astonishment. That is all about playing contrast to get the reaction out of the audience. I could show you anything in the movie, and as much time was spent on that as was spent on the Trinity test. This whole crew is the same way. We all work long and hard to get just that right combination to get that reaction out of the audience. All in all, I think the track is really powerful. There are just so many moments that I, every time I hear it, I think, that sounds so good.